Hi, everyone. I'm Sophie Primuth. I'm here today to speak to Stephanie Stimak about her new book, Design for Developers. I was actually building for developers, so I was building developer tools and really, really got deep into that space. In working with developers, a lot of the feedback I would hear is many of them want to know how to design, um, but they don't know where to start. And so you, they can go build a website. Um, but they don't have those core fundamentals to make it look polished. And so that's really where um, this book focuses, is building up those skills. When you talk about design, and you've already mentioned UX design and visual design, what is your definition of design as a whole? I think a big misconception is that designers, like good designers, are just born with that. I don't necessarily think it's required you have a uh, basis at like design skills knowledge, but I think it can be incredibly beneficial just for the communication aspect. You can help identify the points where things may not work from a technical standpoint. And so a, a lot of my book talks about like trying to reduce that like cycle of churn and doing unnecessary work. Um, and speeding up the process with communication. And you say it clearly, it is one of your points in the book that says you uh, you won't be design expert, but will be design smart. But one of the key messages in the book is about just getting those base design skills so that you can communicate well with your designer and help your design team be more effective and focus on bigger problems than something small like spacing or a font size. Um, if you're a developer and you're not being invited to those um, early meetings where planning is happening, message or if you have a if you have a product manager who manages that, message them to ask to be involved. Tell your designer that you would just you would like to be involved more early on in the process. Um, color palettes are, I think, one of the angles that often seem like they're perfect. Oh, you have a color palette, just pick one. And yet, so often, you can't use this color because it's for an alert. You can't use that color because it's a primary call to action. You cannot use this color because it's only used in the logo and never anywhere else. And now, there is a simple method in the book to come in and get a bit of understanding of where is my wiggle room. One thing um, that people lose sight of like a, a stakeholder, when you're when you have someone building your product or designing your product or designing your website, it's not about your preference. You 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 think you're that like it's important to you because it's your product, but you're actually trying to target a certain set of customers, and what their preference is is actually more important than what your preference is. Subscribe to the GoTo YouTube channel now and join the experts in person or online at any upcoming GoTo conference using the promo code BOOKCLUB. Visit gotopia.tech to learn more.